Sorry, we come up to the final example of this section. Factorize 4 minus m squared plus 2n minus mn. And it happens that we have a total of four terms here. And we cannot find any common factor across the four terms. Remember, we have now three different factorization methods taking out common factor. Grouping like terms and then a difference of 2 squared. And the order of applying these methods, it actually depends on the question. For example, in this question, we can see that 4 minus m squared is a form of difference of 2 squared. And 2n minus mn, we can find a common factor of n here. Therefore, we can try, just try, separate the four terms into two groups in which the first two terms are arranged in one group and then the third and the fourth term arranged in the second group. Therefore, in the first group, we can apply difference of 2 squared. 2 minus m times 2 plus m. In the second group, we take out the common factor n. n times 2 minus m. And we are lucky. Eh? In this case, we have the factor 2 minus m here. Therefore, we can write 2 minus m times 2 plus m. Eh? We, we have a term 2 plus m left behind in the first group. And then plus n left in the second group. We can see that plus n comes from here. And we can see that we cannot find any further factors in the answer. Therefore, this will be our final answer. But you may ask, in separate the four terms into two groups, why choose the first and the second, and then the third and the fourth into two groups? Why not we choose the first and the third term as one group, and then the second and the fourth term as another group? In fact, we can do an experiment. Uh, let's try. Uh. 4 plus 2n minus m squared minus mn. Again, we can add a bracket here. Minus m squared plus mn. Since we have a minus sign before the bracket, therefore this minus sign should change to a plus sign. And now we can apply taking our common factor in the first group, 2 plus n minus. And at the same time, you can take out the common factor m in the second group. And we have m times m plus n. And it happens, we reach a dead end. We can do nothing here, since we have no common factor, no grouping like terms, and no difference of 2 squared. And therefore, this method, now this grouping method, does not work for this question. And of, of course, you can try grouping the first term and the fourth term and the second term and third term into two groups. Let's just try again. 4 minus mn minus m squared plus 2n. We separate them into two groups. Again, we have minus bracket m squared minus 2n, since we have a minus sign before the bracket. And again, we reach another dead end. Yeah? We have no common factor, no grouping like terms, and no difference of 2 squared. And therefore, our strategy of grouping, yeah? of grouping, in fact, there are several ways to group four terms. Yeah? We can choose the first term and the second term as one group, and then the third and the fourth for another group. And then the second, the second way will be one, the first and the third, and the second and the fourth term. And lastly, the first term and the fourth term, and the second term and third term as another group. And in fact, different questions will use different strategies of grouping. We have to try 
one by one, uh, one by one. Sometimes we may need to select the first and the third term and then the second and the fourth term as two groups. And sometimes we may need this one too. And uh, it happens that this question, choosing the first and the second term as one group, the third and the fourth term as another group, it does work fine. 